Hi, everybody. Hello there. Jerry. And Linda. We're the Village's Newcomers. We want to talk to you today about a necessary part of living in Florida, and that's yard maintenance. It's warm weather. There's lots of rain. These yards can get out of control. It's a little bit of high maintenance. Today, we're over here at a friend's home, and he does his own yard work. As you know, if you watch our show, we don't do that. We hire it out. So today, we're going to find all the ins and outs of taking care of your own lawn. Robin, it is so nice of you to uh, have us over and agree to talk to our viewers about lawn maintenance. We appreciate it. Oh, uh, you're welcome. Glad to do it. Now, we've got your equipment out here, but before we go through it and show each piece of equipment that you need, let's talk about lawn maintenance here. Okay. How often does one need to cut their grass in Florida? Well, that's, of course, dependent on, on the weather. More rain we have, more often you have to cut your grass. Uh, and it also depends on what height you cut it. With Empire Zoysia that we have here uh, in this area of the villages, uh, they recommend uh, uh, cutting it every four days or so and cutting it short and taking about an inch off and keeping it uh, uh, trimmed. Now you cut your own grass, so you can I do. do it every four days. We, on the other hand, we hire it out. Now, we have a person come that cuts it once a week. And we right. found that works really good. Unless that one day that they're supposed to come and cut, it rains. Right. And then it may rain the next day. And the next day. And that not only sets them back in their business, it, your grass is out of control. That's right, Jerry. Uh, and they are, uh, for the most part, I find that the, the yard service companies do an excellent job and uh, unfortunately they are uh, it's dependent on the weather when they can get to your to your grass I'm the same way I have to wait a few days if it's pouring down rain obviously now you mentioned that you have Empire Zoysia that's the same as we have right and that's pretty much standard in this part of the villages but in other parts of the villages they have other types of grass right company. they have uh, uh, in the northern part when they first started the villages it's uh, St. Augustine. And now I see that they're putting St. Augustine in the newer sections of the villages. And there's advantages to that. I think St. Augustine uh, stays green during the winter. Uh, our grass will, will turn a little bit brown. I think St. Augustine might be a hardier grass, more resistant to uh, uh, diseases and, and pests. Now Gizmo prefers the Empire of Soja because it's nicer <laughs> on his belly. Yeah. No, I know, but our viewers need to know. Lawn services can ride, in which case they usually have a big, heavy tractor-type cutter. And many people prefer to walk behind a push mower. Which do you do and why? I uh, prefer a push mower. Uh, I'm, I'm more of a uh, detailed person with my, with my yard. I like getting out here. It's therapeutic for me. It's physically, it's a, it's a good exercise. And so I use a push mower. And, uh, but yard companies, they want to get in here and get it done, get in and out and get on to the next one. It's about profit for them. And they, like I said, even though they're using a, a stand behind uh, riding mower or a, a whatever uh, type of riding mower they have, they generally do a pretty good job with it. But I don't have the room for a riding mower. I don't uh, want the expense of a riding mower, so I use a push mower. Yeah, that's something in the villages we've talked about. And you'll see his equipment here in a minute. It takes up a pretty good chunk of space in your garage. It does. It does. Uh, and I'm looking forward to one day not having to do that. But uh, at my age, I'm relatively young compared to my neighbors, and I uh, hope they don't see that. But uh, I enjoy doing it, and I'll continue to do it as long as I can. A benefit of doing your own lawn with a push mower is the fact that you can clean that mower when it needs to be cleaned. But if you were a company, you'd be taking that mower from your yard to somebody right. else's yard to somebody else's yard. What's the advantage or disadvantage of that? Well, I, I do cut other yards. I've cut every yard you see around here. I've done it uh, when it's snowbirds or when, uh, uh, for different reasons, I've cut grass all over the uh, Hillsboro. Uh, but I have to clean my blades when I'm done. A little... Uh, diluted uh, water and bleach and I have to clean the blades so that I don't transfer uh, 
the weed problem to my yard. Right. We have had that, you know, because people encounter insects, which we're going to cover in another show. Right. Pesticides, fertilizers, and that kind of thing. It's not a one-step process. You have multiple items of equipment here. Right. What's your system? What do you start with? Uh, initially, I'll edge my driveway and my curb. And because I'm on a corner lot, I have a lot of edging around the curb. And so I use a steel edger, and then I will use a string trimmer, and do. And I have and again. That's the hardest part of my yard work is the edging and trimming because I have a lot of landscaping and a lot of things to go around. I go around all around my sprinkler donuts, and I'm like I said, I'm kind of different. I'm very detailed with it. And then at, when I'm done with all that, then I will mow and clean it all up. Now, as I said, we're going to talk about fertilizer, insecticides, weed killers. Do you have to do anything regarding weeds in your own yard here? I do. I do it all myself. I don't hire a company to do the cutting or the uh, treatment for weeds or insects or fertilizer. I do it all myself. And it it can get expensive, but uh, uh, and I prefer to do it myself. I have to uh, research certain issues, but I, I will tell you this. There is a gentleman at uh, Wildwood Ace Hardware, and his name is Tom. And I go to him when I have an issue, and I'll take a picture of my problem, and I'll go to him, and I'll ask him a question, and uh, he'll answer it for me. He's very knowledgeable. Uh, I asked him if I could mention his name. He says, certainly, mention my name and, and, the, and the business. You do it yourself. You buy your own gas. You buy right. your own oil. You right. sharpen your own blades. The first thing I'll do is, is uh, fire up the steel edger and I will do my driveway and my curb. And because I'm on a corner lot, I have a lot to do. And then after that, I'll uh, use my string trimmer. And because of my landscaping, I have quite a bit of it. I will, that takes up the most time actually. And uh, once I get that done, I will uh, mow the grass and clean up all the uh, debris that I left behind with my uh, string trimmer doing this yourself have you ever figured out a cost or a cost savings because I'll, I'm going to tell the viewers right now we spend fifty dollars a month for them to edge cut weed eat and blow it clean right uh, I've never figured out what I spend to do it myself and you're, you're paying fifty a month that's that's a good deal I think that's pretty cheap depending on uh, if you're satisfied with it, and I assume you are. Like I said, most of these companies do a really good job, and that's, that's a worthwhile investment there, just $50. I think it's a good deal. Well, part of the benefit to that is we don't have to store the mower, the weed eater, the edger, et cetera. We don't have to sharpen blades, and we don't have to buy and store gas. Right. So, so we enjoy that, but you also take a certain amount of personal pride and satisfaction in getting it done the way that you want to do it and your yard looks beautiful. Well, thanks. I, I do uh, get a lot of satisfaction out of it. And uh, like I said before, I really enjoy doing it. You have to be careful with uh, uh, the heat and making sure you're, you're able to do it because it is exhausting. It's not for everybody. And uh, wear the proper safety equipment. Can we take a look at your equipment? Absolutely. All right. Here, I guess, is the workhorse, huh? That's it. It's uh, going on seven years old now, and but I have to change the oil and the air filter, sharpen the blades, keep it running. What does a mower like this cost? That mower there is around 450, and this right here is my uh, edger. All my equipment is by steel. Uh, that's what I prefer, and it's all uh, a gas oil mixture. But now you can get uh, uh, battery-operated steel tools which I probably will go to eventually. Now that's the edger, it has a steel blade and you'll walk along the driveway, the sidewalk, around your planting beds? That's correct, right, right. And what does one of those cost? Uh, I think those are around 250. And the, uh, the string trimmer here is around $200 and my blower is around 200. Now and I have to, I repair all these myself too. The string trimmer, that's basically what we call a weed eater. Right, right. And it, uh, there is some money involved and some time and effort to uh, keep these running as far as uh, all the different parts that 
And uh, I didn't know how to do any of this when I first got into it, but I, I YouTube it and figure it out and get it done. And, and also your, my guy at, at Ace gives me some good advice. There's your blower. And that's right. just used to kind of disperse the cuttings after you're done? Yeah, uh, or, yeah, my driveway and uh, my uh, flower beds, which I have, uh, I've got rocks, so I blow all the, all the debris off of that into my yard so I can get it cleaned up. And, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a good tool to have. And there's a donut cutter right there. Right. Uh, are donuts a problem here in villages? Uh, if on riding mowers and uh, you should have the donuts because uh, they, they can break a sprinkler head without the donut uh, protecting it. Let's show them what a donut is. Okay. Yeah, the, the donut head surrounds the, uh, or this donut surrounds the sprinkler head and protects uh, that sprinkler head from being broken off. That's another thing I have to do uh, is, is constantly test the sprinklers and make sure they're working properly. Because the weight of a lawnmower could right. uh, come through there. Right. Uh, with a push mower, it's not so bad. Because, uh, but with a riding mower, as much as they weigh, I'm not going to, I don't worry about it with a push mower. Let's look here at the edge of your driveway. Now, when was the last time you edged this? It's been about six days. So, yeah, I'll, I'll edge it again tomorrow. And your yard is the Empire Zoysia. Right. Looking at it, here. it looks beautiful. Thanks. Now, I know, and our viewers wouldn't know this, that not long ago you replaced a large section of your yard. I did. And I had a, an invasion of uh, what I call torpedo grass, and it was very difficult to get rid of, so I just I killed a large section of it and then resodded. Can we get a look at you uh, using the donut cu uh, cutter? Yeah, it, it's, it's real easy. You just put that around your, your sprinkler head, step down on it, and uh, twist it, and pull all that sod out around it. It's, and you'll get it yeah. like this. Right. One that, like we said, is already right. done. Very nice. Right now, I'm just going to go through uh, what I generally do and the steps I take to take care of my grass as far as edging, uh, trimming, and uh, mowing. I do wear ear protection when I mow, uh, and I also wear eye protection uh, when I uh, trim or uh, edge. I suggest everybody do that, and you'll see what my, on my string trimmer, I've taken the guard off, but I would suggest you do not take your guard off. I use my string trimmer as an edger also. That's why I took the guard off. It's a little easier for me. But you at home, don't take your guard off. Now I'm going to use my strain trimmer to get around my landscaping and all my flower beds. And again, I do not have a guard on this, but put your guard on 
I use mine for different things and uh, so I take my guard off. Robin, it's easy to see that you take good care of your machines and that's part of the reason your yard looks so beautiful. Well, thanks again for having us over. We really appreciate it and I know our viewers will too. Oh, you're welcome. Thanks for asking me to do this. We hope you enjoyed that and everybody can take something away from it and maybe you'll consider doing your own lawn. You can see there's quite a bit of expense involved and a lot of time. Robin does a fantastic job on his yard and he's, he's quite the good Samaritan in his own neighborhood. Don't call him, though. He's not taking any jobs. He's too busy. <laughs> but we thank you all for watching. If you have any questions, please send them in. Villagesnewcomers at gmail.com. If you like this video, please press that like and subscribe. Until next time. See you when you get here.